this over here? Cute. Hi guys, so today's look is just going to be this soft neutral natural eye and I'm just going to use warm browns and some gold. So I hope you guys like it. Um, it's just a great everyday look. You can wear it to school, work, um, you know, whatever you're doing. So I hope you guys like it and keep watching if you want to create this look. Okay, so I've already got a base on my eye and I'm going to start with a cream eyeshadow. Um, I'm probably going to use this. It's just an all-over color stick in golden peach. You can use a, since we're doing gold on the lid, you can use a gold cream eyeshadow too. It's kind of not sharpened, but it's just a gold color. Um, but I'm going to stick with this because I don't want the gold to be <laughs> really <laughs> intense. Because I don't want the gold to be super intense, more of a softer makeup, so... I'm just going to get a little of this and put it all over the lower lid. And we're just going to leave this outer corner blank. And then go under the eye too. Because I don't immediately just start out with, um, you know, really intense gold, I'm going to start out with like a light pink. And the palette I'm going to use most today is from BH Cosmetics. And it's their... 120 palette and it is the second edition and I think I'm pretty much just going to work with the top layer there's two layers to it <laughs> these um, really warm browns and maybe a little of this and some of these browns up here too and then a little bit of the gold I think I'm going to be doing a review on this palette but uh, just so you know I really like all the colors in the pigmentation so I suggest this palette so I'm just going to take uh, just a light pink here that and just put that right there just the inner part of the eye so just any sort of light shimmery color you can use like pink eyes from elf or something like that and then a tiny bit under the eye kind of in the same area all right now we're going to start moving into the golds on the eyelid so i'm going to use this from claire's and it's just a trio and i'm just going to use that middle gold color it's like kind of a medium darkness shade, so it's not it's not very dark and it's really shimmery. And just apply this right here. So we're blending out the pink into the gold. And you can go about halfway. And so now I'm gonna use a darker gold just from the edge of that. Um, lighter gold. So I'm going to use that BH Cosmetics palette and just mix the two um, shimmery golds they have and just put this out here. Alright, and I'm just going to kind of do the same thing on, under the eye, taking that light gold and go right, like kind of in the center of the eye, right under the lash line. And don't bring it all the way out to the edge, just the majority of the way. Alright, and now for the outer part of the eye, I'm going to take a cream eyeshadow in a brown color. This is toasted from e.l.f., so you can just use any cream eyeshadow that's brown. I just really like this one. And we're just going to place this in the outer corner. Because cream eyeshadows tend to crease up when you get in the crease area of your eye. Um, try to avoid that. It depends on your skin type too, um, but I have kind of oily skin and so my eyelids get oily too. So I try to keep it just below the crease, so just kind of in this area. And under the eye. Alright, now we're going to start working with the warm browns. So we're going to have warm browns out here and we're going to bring them in to the crease. So kind of all through that crease area. I'm going to use a mix between these two um, almost coppery, really warm brown colors. And we'll start out here, like that, and just start bringing it in. So we're just kind of defining our crease here. 
and then kind of feather it into the outer V and then bring it out a little bit too. And I'm going to take the color right above it, this really warm uh, light brown. Looks kind of like a eyebrow color, sort of, it's just matte. And I'm going to put that right over the warm browns we put on. And just blend it out all the way to the inner part of the eye. Alright, and we're going to kind of mirror what we did on the top to the bottom again. So using those warm browns, just go under. And then just blend it out with a fluffy brush just a little bit. Now I'm going to go back in and just define that crease a little bit more. So I'm going to take some of this um, kind of chocolatey brown here. And then just put it right here. Just right in the crease. And so the warm browns we used earlier, we kind of put just kind of in the crease and a little bit above. And so this is just going to stay right in the crease. So it'll blend from this dark, this darker color into the warmer colors and just fade out like that. And the trick is to blend it evenly so you can use your same brush and just kind of just feather into it. And then I like to finish off with a fluffy brush to help me blend a little bit more. And to help define our outer corner, I'm just going to use a dark brown just right in here. So I'm just going to use this dark matte brown color. And you don't need too much with this color, just a little bit. And just right here, the outer part, right here. Just like kind of in that V shape. And then once you got the placement down, just sort of or blend it in and you can extend this color just a little past your eye and if you feel that the brown um, is a little bit too much of a contrast with the gold you can get kind of a light brown like warm colored brown or something that has a little gold in it and just kind of blend it together um, I think I'll just show you that really quick. Um, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this, um, and a little bit of the gold, and a little of this color. Just kind of blend just the end of your eyelid. Then I'm just blending out the edges of the eye makeup up here too. For the highlight, I'm just gonna get a little more cream eyeshadow and put it right in here on in the inner corner. Then I'm going to take a tiny brush and I'm just going to use some of that really light off-white highlight color in the palette. This color right here. Just place this right in here. And you can do a little bit on your brow up here too. And for eyeliner, um, I would just use a brown. This is Wet n Wild um, dark brown eyeliner. And I'm just holding the skin uh, in place here, not tugging on it, just holding it in place. And running this right through my lash line. And I usually like to go about two thirds or so. And then bring it out on the end too. All right. And then to set that with a powder so it stays, I'm just gonna use a dark brown from the palette again. Just this one that's like almost all gone. Just that right there. And then just go right over the eyeliner. I'm gonna put on mascara and I'll be right back. All right. So here's the finished look. Um, just golds and warm browns, so um, I hope you like it. And it's just a great everyday look, so um, you could wear it anywhere, and it would work. And if you want to, you know, wear it out for like a night out, you could um, use a little black and intensify um, your crease and the outer V, you know, to make it a little, a little heavier and dramatic, and maybe put some false lashes on or something. But that's pretty much the look. So 
Hope you guys enjoy this video. Bye. <laughs>